Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this one day time frame for Bitcoin. And then later on in this video, I'll move on to the lower time frames. Either way, we just broke out above this previous level of resistance and flipped it into a level of support. So now we have this support sitting from 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And the next big level of resistance is sitting from 65,000 all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. Now, the reason I'm talking about this support to the downside here as well is because we have this MACD indicator on the one day time frame now flashing an ever so slight decrease in the bullish momentum here. Obviously, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I am just expecting some choppy sideways price action over this weekend here, which is, yeah, if we just take a look at the one hour time frame, exactly what we have seen so far. So that is a good thing to see. I'm happy it played out as expected. Regardless, it is quite normal to see a decrease in momentum over the weekend because, yeah, as I said in yesterday's video as well, usually you see a big decrease in the volume that is traded over the weekend because the Bitcoin ETFs, for example, are not trading during this time. So for today and tomorrow here as well, I am just continuing to expect lower volatility and just some choppy sideways price action, basically until the Bitcoin CME futures start trading again. Currently we have a Bitcoin CME gap at about 62.9K, which is significant because currently we are trading above 63,000 US dollars. So in the case that you're not familiar with how these Bitcoin CME gaps actually work, over 90% of CME gaps get filled. So let's say yeah, if we really get a bit of a pump here to the upside and we open the trading week right here at 64 or 65,000 US dollars, then we should expect a move down lower to around 63, 62.9K, roughly speaking. Now, why am I talking about CME gaps here? Not only because of this week, but we also have this CME gap all the way at 53,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. So at some point, I am expecting that this price starts to turn around and we get a move to the downside in order to trade to around this 53K level in order to fill that CME gap. The reason I'm talking about this once again is because, for example, in yesterday's video, after I mentioned the CME gap, I got a couple of comments of people saying like, no, we are never going to fill this CME gap ever again. We are just going to shoot straight up from here and see nothing but upside. But these are the exact same comments as when we saw this 15% move to the upside after creating this CME gap. And I was reading the exact same comments, guys. So it is basically the same pattern over and over again. In an uptrend, people are basically going to be saying that we will keep going up forever. And in a downtrend, people will say that we will keep going down forever until we hit some kind of massive price target, regardless of if it is to the upside or to the downside. But what has worked very well so far for me personally, at least, is basically just trading this descending channel on the one day time frame. Either way, we we are now getting somewhat close to the top of this descending channel once again. Yeah, I'm basically seeing a similar sentiment once again. People talking about uh, massive moves to the upside. People saying we're never going to fill this CME gap. When just two weeks ago, people were literally saying the bull market was over and that we were going to 30,000 US dollars, 40,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And they were clowning me for saying that we just bounced from this big level of support. This is why it's important to kind of be up to date with the sentiment in the market and basically do the opposite of that because people tend to get it wrong, right? And what would really change my mind about this CME gap filling at some point is if we actually confirm a breakout above this descending channel, because at that point, to me, it would seem much more likely that we are actually going to see much higher price action. So therefore, right now, if we get a breakout above 66, 0.8k roughly speaking let's say 67,000 US dollars then i think it becomes less likely that we are going to fill this seat me gap at 53k it would still be possible but just be a lot less likely however so long as we keep trading inside this range Bitcoin can keep doing this for months. So if you're interested to kind of join the community here feel free to join the road to 1 million community on discord it is completely free i'm very active in here and there's also a bunch of people that are literally trading crypto every single day, sharing their analysis and everything with each other. So definitely come check this out. I highly recommend it. Either way, let's now zoom into the shorter term for Bitcoin. For example, on this four hour time frame here, 
where recently we actually bounced from this 0.786 Fibonacci level sitting at about 62.3K. So for now, this is looking very good. Besides that, if you take these different Fibonacci levels here, you can see that we are also holding above this Fibonacci golden pocket, which again is a good thing to see if you are a bull in this situation. Now the Fibonacci golden pocket here is sitting from 62,000 all the way up to 62.7K. So as I said in yesterday's video as well, over the weekend here, I am just expecting some choppy sideways price action around this Fibonacci golden pocket, unless we get some kind of major news event. And in terms of the momentum in the market, if we lose this 62,000 US dollar level, that would be quite a bearish signal for me personally, where I would think at that point, it is much more likely that we are going to see much lower price action for Bitcoin. And potentially it could actually be a reversal signal where we need to go much lower for the Bitcoin price. However, I think it is a little bit early to start talking about an actual reversal. If you just take a look at this price action here, we broke out above the Fibonacci golden pocket and so far have just held it as a level of support, even on the daily time frame, breaking out above retesting it and potentially blasting off from there and staying on this four hour time frame here if we're talking about resistance to the upside we have this 0.786 fibonacci level sitting at about 65.5k so that could be a short term price target if we actually see this bounce to the upside here however on the different fibonacci levels you can also take a look at this previous high which would be at about 65,000 us dollars and this also aligns with this big level of resistance that i was talking about earlier so in conclusion to kind of summarize all of this because i'm talking about a bunch of levels of support and resistance here basically so long as we hold above 62,000, my expectation is that potentially in this following week here we're already going to be touching into this next big level of resistance sitting from 65,000 all the way up to 66,000. and in the case that we lose 62k as a level of support I think it would be very likely that we go to the bottom of the range here, potentially breaking down lower to retest this trend line once again. And if we're just talking about the immediate short term here, so we're talking about this one hour time frame, basically, well, I am still expecting some choppy sideways price action over the course of this weekend. And then when the CME futures exchange starts trading again late on Sunday, depending on your time zone, obviously, but when the CME futures exchange starts trading again that's when i think more volume will return in the market and we are going to see more volatility once again so be ready for that be on the lookout and start looking for those trading opportunities but of course that is not financial advice i'm simply telling you what i do and then yeah you can do with that information what you like lastly taking a look at the bitcoin liquidation heat map for today first of all on this three day time frame as i was talking about yesterday as well when we have choppy sideways price action, you usually see some liquidity to the upside and to the downside at the same time. So usually you will see Bitcoin sweeping both sides of the liquidity. So just keep an eye on these Bitcoin liquidation heat maps. Currently, there's some liquidity at 64.2K and liquidity at 62.2K. So in the immediate short term, these could be some areas where you could see potential reversals in the price. And if we're talking about the one week time frame, then yes, we have quite a bit of liquidity to the upside sitting at 64.2K. However, at the same time, there is also a lot of liquidity to the downside. So, so obviously a lot of people were longing this move to the upside here with leverage, but now with this recent high, a lot of people are shorting the Bitcoin price. So therefore everything I just said earlier here in that kind of that recap, Basically, as long as we hold 62K, I think it is very likely that we are going to sweep this liquidity to the upside at, for example, 64.2K. However, if we lose 62,000 as a level of support, then potentially we need to come down lower to come grab liquidity at 60,000 or even as low as 57.2K for the Bitcoin price. Regardless, this has been today's market update. Don't forget to come join the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. We'd love to chat with you in here. So if you join, come say hi. Either way, if you do end up joining or not, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.